Okay, let's get comfortable. Hello, family and friends. Um, today is Thursday, February 2nd. Um, I'm not feeling, you know, the best this morning. I didn't really sleep the best last night. So we're just gonna roll with it today. Um, I got up and I did the sauna this morning. The place where I'm staying has a sauna, so I've been doing that, but um, I guess I haven't even explained what is going on. So let's start from the beginning. The last update that I did, chemo called Xylanta, that's what I did in November. December, I signed up for another clinical trial. It was a natural killer cell clinical trial. It failed or my body just didn't respond to it. That was over the holidays. And so we really didn't get started on a new protocol until about like two weeks ago, which would put us at the end of January. So the whole month of December, <laughs> December and like the first few weeks of January, we were not good for me. Um, just like mentally, it was just all caught up and I just was not in a good place. Um, it was also the first time that I've done treatment during the holidays and it was just so weird. Um, I don't know how else to explain it other than it was weird and you'll, I don't know, it was just weird because it was just, it's a time where everyone is cheery and happy and that was not my mood. <laughs> <laughs> my um was the complete opposite and i just feel like i was um i don't know i just really didn't enjoy the holidays this year so we'll try again next year the last year has been you know you start treatment you do the treatment you realize that it failed or it didn't work and so you start a new treatment and that's been like four times in a row and stuff is just getting so repetitive and you know like I'm just ready to get on with my life but I think I'm finally on you know the up and up <laughs> um, I'm feeling much better like mentally and physically just being in treatment and consistently doing something it's so much better for my mental state because I'm being proactive about you know getting rid of the issue that is holding me back from life. So the protocol that I started two weeks ago, um, I started a chemo pill, started getting infusions, and I did start radiation. So this is the protocol for the next like five to six weeks-ish, possibly more just depending on how things are going. Body is responding and my tumor has been shrinking. That's just really good news and you know mentally that's just it's so relieving just to physically see the results all of this hard work and all of this like time and investment it's just really encouraging to just continue doing what we've been doing and uh, my doctor always says stay the course like if it's working because remember the ultimate goal is an aloe stem cell transplant that is where you get a stem cell transplant from a donor i have three siblings and all of them have been tested unfortunately Becca and Joe came back, not a good match. Um, we're, I think we're still waiting to hear back from John's test result. But ideally, they like to check siblings first because that would be an ideal match. If that's not a match, a nationwide database that they look at. And I have actually been paired up with 10 different people. We already have that piece of the puzzle already figured out. So now it's just getting me into remission. We will see where I'm at in, you know, five weeks. But as, as of right now, on February 2nd, my tumor has been shrinking. It is the smallest that it's been in a year. My body did respond to chemo. Like a lot of the treatments in the clinical trials that I got last year, I had to do a conditioning chemo. And that is simply just to suppress your immune system to make room in to let those like natural killer cells and those CAR T cells do the work. So that conditioning chemo would shrink my tumor. It was getting bigger after about two weeks. So that's how I know that it failed. And so, you know, after we realized that it wasn't 
working, then I would get a PET scan and we would just start the whole process over again. Um, as far as how I'm feeling right now, um, it's two, th two weeks ish into my chemo um, and I'm starting to just kind of tell I'm just starting to get more fatigue during the day my sleep is probably the best it's been for three months so <laughs> and it's really not the best so that's just something that I'm consistently working on or I take naps to kind of balance out um, the sleep that I don't get at night or the interrupted sleep that I get at night do not recommend that. I do not recommend that at all, but that's just what we're dealing with right now. I feel like I have a lot of like little things that I am consistently having to like figure out, but if I got rid of the main issue would be my cancer. All of those things would balance out. So I am in Iowa City during the week. Um, I feel like I've been like super open about treatment plans and like what we're doing and what we're up to and I just don't really I don't know I don't really feel inclined to share a lot of like details because it's none of anyone's business to be honest <laughs> uh, radiation is something that I have been avoiding because of the investment um, as far as like moving you know relocating but after the last treatment, I was just said, nope, this is what we're gonna do because radiation is something that my doctor has wanted to do from the get-go and I just um, haven't really wanted to. We're doing radiation and it's a new ball game. And essentially they're treating me like a breast cancer patient. The cancer is still located in my right breast. That is really all I have to say right now. Um, I just kind of wanted to do an update and give some details to what is going on. I think it is time to take Miss Sadie on a little walk. Sadie, do you want to go on a walk? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. o'clock and my radiation starts at 11:45. so I am just now leaving North Liberty it takes me about 30 minutes to get from here to the hospital and like all the way parked walked in takes me about 30 minutes Please take the parking ticket. Radiation is done. I am going to go take a nap. I did not really sleep the best last night. And I can just tell that I'm just starting to get a little sick. And I'm also really hungry. So we're going to go have some lunch and then I'm going to lay down for a couple of hours. So my appetite here lately has been extremely large. I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm just going to continue to eat like nothing is going on because I don't normally eat this much during chemo and treatment. I'm really trying to maintain my weight and try to actually gain some weight. I've lost probably about like 15 pounds. I'm just trying to hold on to my muscle as best as I can. Okay, I've been literally living off of Dave's Killer Bread. So I have two slices of toast. I have some goat cheese in there and then rotisserie chicken. Then I topped it off with 
this Primal Kitchen Buffalo Sauce. This is absolutely amazing. If you like the Frank's Red Hot Sauce, this is very, like almost identical, honestly. I was very surprised at how good this tasted. I got a two pack at Costco for like, I don't know, seven bucks maybe? I can't remember what it was. Hello! As you can see, I'm back in my office and I am just closing out this video. I've just been slowly putting it together and this was actually recorded in Iowa City um, like a month ago. <laughs> I have just been feeling like absolute crap. So after I recorded this, um, let's see, that was the second, first or second week. So that was my second week in Iowa City. Um, my third week, I could just tell that I was just starting to get sick. Well, I had some cold sores pop up in my mouth and they actually just turned into just crazy mouth sores. So Jordan had to come down to Iowa City with me for the, my fourth week of radiation and stay with me, take with me to the hospital, <laughs> take care of me. He took care of me that week. I was just trying to survive. Thank the Lord for Veltrex because that's all I got to say. And that was probably like the worst pain that I've experienced since the tumor in my knee. After I was just talking to you about trying to maintain my weight. So I lost another 10 pounds and I am currently sitting at like around 160. Um, very much a string bean. So <laughs> it's just, uh, it's really hard to gain weight when you're in treatment. It's so hard. And I was not expecting to lose this much weight. I've lost about 25 pounds since last year, which is nuts, absolutely nuts. While I'm feeling good right now and for the next couple weeks, I'm going to be consistent in the gym and trying to get that weight put back on. Because I know that when I do some sort of movement, to at least 10 minutes of doing something, I just know that I start to get hungry and then I eat something and I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel good. So the more I move, the more it increases my appetite and the more I'm hungry. And it's just like, oh my gosh, you know, like it does make sense. Like movement will increase your appetite, but you have to have the discipline to move regardless of how you feel because I have felt like shit the last week, but I've just been kind of just pressing through and just kind of like doing what I can with what I have and with how I feel too. You know, pushing myself just a little bit past what I probably should do is okay with me right now. But last week when you know, my skin, um, I'm currently recovering from radiation. Since they treated me like a breast cancer patient, like obviously like, from right here to right here in my rib cage, it was just completely raw, you know? And that's really just the reality in it. And I couldn't, I was just very uncomfortable. That's the only word that I can really describe. I was just not comfortable for about two weeks. Just as of like yesterday or two days ago, I was able to comfortably go to the gym and sweat and do stuff like that. And so, I just know it will all start to snowball and I'll start to feel so much better. Stress is good for the body. I just had so much other stress like mental stressors and I haven't been able to use the gym for my outlet because I've just, I've been healing, you know? And so we're healed for the most part. <laughs> so now it's time to start gaining some weight. Um, like my face is just, just so thin. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna blow away in the wind. Um, so yeah, so I have been recording some stuff and I don't know, I did record on my camera, but I don't know when you guys are gonna see that. <laughs> That's just the reality of my life right now, okay? Today is March 9th and I am currently, I think, I'm over the hump of 
the wired, tired, just completely drained radiation feeling. Within the last couple of days, I have started to go back to the gym and just get movement in and increase my heart rate. Since my skin is healed, I feel more comfortable like sweating and just being a little bit more athletic with my workouts. You can train no matter what. You just have to change certain things and you can train regardless of the situation. Um, I think that obviously, yes, you're gonna have to take some days off and take some weeks off here and there, but I currently feel pretty good. It's just been a very long couple weeks of feeling like absolute garbage. So if I can make it through a full day with energy and just feeling good without any pain, it is a great day. We have came a long ways <laughs> in the last three weeks. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> Are you helping me? He's actually annoyed because this is what he does when I'm being too loud. He'll turn around, won't you? Yeah.